Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mike Dyack. I'm a master plumber and licensed HVAC contractor in Florida, South Carolina, and in New York. And I gotta tell you, I don't think I've seen one this bad in a very long time. I got this rude two-ton R410A condensing unit. She's been neglected here for quite some time. <sighs> We're going to uh, we're gonna do some maintenance on this bad boy. It's been a while. Let's take care of her. Let's rejuvenate. We have a manufacturer date of May 2016. We have this 24 in the mile number. That gives it a two ton system. Let's give her the good old, how you doing? First things first, pull the disconnect. Okay. We're gonna flip that upside down. Okay, that's not working. I tried. We're gonna go put it up to the corner, the side, so it just doesn't get wet. I got my coil gun, I got my new bright, I got my drill, I got my nozzle, and I got the uh, the foam adapter. All right, let's uh, get my needle nose, and uh, let's take off the electrical compartment. Right there. Talk about being seriously neglected here. Oh my God. Jeez Louise. Oh my God. I'm not gonna focus on that right now. I'm gonna focus on taking off all the screws. We're gonna start disassembling this condensing unit. There we go. We're gonna do a full cleaning on this bad boy. Full cleaning. Cut. All right, now that all the screws are gone, I'm going to break that zip tie off and let's just charge our capacitor. Okay, like that. Let's take off the brown, which is our fan. And we have this orange and we have the black. So let's get all that off there. Okay. Let's take off our, put this off to the side. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jeez Louise. Wow. All right, so on the smaller units, there is a, uh, there's one side that doesn't have any panels on it. All right, so we don't need to worry about that right now. I'm gonna show you how we take this apart. There's one. <laughs> There's two. There's three. Whew, oh man. Jesus Christ, holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mike Dyack. I'm a master plumber and licensed HVAC contractor in Florida, South Carolina, and in New York. And I gotta tell you, I don't think I've seen one this bad in a very long time. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot make this stuff up. You can't. You literally can't. And that's only just one panel removed. Wow. Oh my God. That is absolutely ridiculous. All right, so there's really no easy way of doing this. All right, it's not. So I got my Milwaukee M18 leaf blower. 
gonna start by just trying to clean everything out here, right? And by the way, this was service two years ago, right? <laughs> Bullshit. Right now I'm just breaking up some of the loose stuff and the dirt on this thing. <laughs> and I know I should go get a brush from the truck, but I'm having some fun right now, okay? So let me be, all right? Let me be. Wow. All right, I removed the back side, which is that panel, from the condensing unit, and I used my leaf blower and I basically pushed everything out. Now, there are two ways of handling this. You can get a soft bristle brush and brush all this down. Um, or take some water, hose, rinse it all off, and then we're gonna clean it from the inside out. In a few moments, you're gonna see a brand new looking condensing unit. All right, a lot of you think I'm nuts for doing it like this, but you know what? This works for me. And we're gonna, ooh, that's dog urine, by the way. And I don't care what any HVAC YouTuber tells you, you never rinse from the outside in. You always rinse from inside out. I'm just saturating all the dirt and dust and tumbleweed and dander and dog hair and all that good stuff. Just rinsing it straight down, but look at that. That stuff is nasty. How did this thing, how's the thing gonna breathe? All right, now that the unit is rinsed, I'm gonna take my new bright, my new Calgon, and I'm gonna use uh, three quarters of a container full because she's pretty uh she's pretty nasty we're gonna spray down the chemical especially on the the panels and the coil get a little bit on there let's get a little bit on our panels okay and let's start generously applying the new calgon to this coil. I'm just going to start a little bit on the the outside and now I'm going to spray from the inside out. All right. Nice, nice generous amount. Get it all good in there. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for about 10, 15 minutes. All right, while the coil cleaner is doing its job, it gives us a good opportunity to clean out our applicator. Right. Coil gun itself. You gotta do it this way, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not cleaning your coil gun, uh, when you go to use it tomorrow, it's gonna be all caked up, nothing's gonna come out of it, and you're gonna be pissed, and you're gonna have to buy yourself another hundred dollar coil gun and uh, have to start over and remember to rinse it out so what I do is I normally rinse it out like that until uh, it comes out clear at the top I fill it up again like this okay no more coil chemical coming out of there we're gonna spin the top uh, one-handedly so hard. okay 
Okay. And. Oh, excuse me. I think we're on. And we're, we're dealing with AstroTurf here, so I'm not worried about killing the grass. So we're going to let this run and empty, deplete all the water that's in there. And then we know she's clean. Let the coil, the new bright coil cleaner, where it may do its magic. And if you're working with a micro channel coil, you're not going to use the new bright. New Caligon does make a condenser coil cleaner that's safe for micro channel coils. Don't use the new bright. You're going to do a lot more harm than good. All right, I rinsed off all of the the panels, the uh, condenser fan motor shroud, and the uh, the assembly on top, and. Now I'm working on the last side of my coil and again I'm rinsing from the inside out. The reason why we're doing this ladies and gentlemen is because when this condenser fan motor comes on it's bringing in air from the outside in. So all that dirt is attracted on the outside of the coil not the inside of the coil. So why would you rinse the other way around? Why? If you're going to force more dirt into it? Come on, use your head. Okay, this is the right way of doing it. Take your time and do the, the right job for your, your customer. All right, she is as clean as she is gonna be. I even lifted up the bottom of the, uh, the ABS plastic and I found a whole bunch of like acorns and nuts. Must have been something nesting in there, but uh, I got everything nice and clean. You know, this is what it looks like when you take a little effort to uh, do a good job. So I got a little dirt on the panels, but that's okay. We'll rinse that off once we uh, get our panels in place. All right, let's, put, let's reassemble. All right, the unit is reassembled. I have the disconnect plugged in. I'm just waiting for the homeowner to turn on the thermostat and lower the cooling set point. And there you have it. So the air conditioning system kicks on. We essentially right now have a cosmetically, practically brand new central air conditioning system. And I really can't even imagine how much energy, how much electricity was wasted with this outdoor condensing coil being unable to extract that high pressure, high temperature liquid refrigerant in the coil with, with it being clogged like that. I, I don't even see how it's possible. But I think we did a great job here and there's only one thing left to do. There you go, baby. There you go. Easy peasy. Guys, if you want some stickers like this for your branding and for your equipment that you service and install, I'm gonna put a link in the description box down below. I found these people on a Facebook sponsored ad uh, called AA Designs. They redesigned the image that I had, which is uh, Mikey Pipes holding the wrench, holding the analog refrigeration manifold with a QR code. Ladies and gentlemen, QR codes, that's technology. Embrace technology or it's gonna get run over you. They printed a thousand of these for, I kid you not, it had to be like a penny each. Literally dirt cheap. Dirt, dirt cheap. Check them out, link in the description box down below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this little, short little educational video on don't neglect your air conditioning equipment. And if you're in the central Florida, Orlando region, Winter Park, Winter Garden, from Claremont to Daytona Beach, give me a call at 407-375-1100 or save time, book online at orlandopipedoctor.com. We offer professional and prompt same day service with a fully stocked truck, uniformed technician, and we'll get the job done generally in one trip. And we stand behind our work for 24 months. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.